Hey everyone, so today I wanted to sit down with you guys and do a new review video. Now what brought this review on was mostly because I was listening to a recent podcast of Joe Rogan. I've been listening to all of his podcasts, I've been going through all of the old ones and just listening to them and loving them so much. I've been laughing to myself, looking like a crazy person, I'm pretty sure at the gym because I randomly burst out into laughter. I just can't hold it back sometimes. But recently they had a conversation about a pair of headphones and they were we're talking about the Dr. Dre Beats headphones. I'm pretty sure they were talking about the Studio Beats and I wanted to talk about and do this review mostly because they had mentioned that the Studio Beats tend to break down easily or people have been finding that they break down really quickly because um, of the fact that they're being exposed to a lot of sweat and moisture. So I I'm drawing the conclusion that the reason that is happening is mostly because that's not what the Studio Beats headphones were designed for. I don't think they're designed for being in a gym atmosphere. Pretty sure that they're designed to be in the studio setting, that they're designed for editing. They are basically built to work in a studio slash podcast setting. So I am not really totally shocked with the fact that they're breaking down quite easily because if they're exposed to moisture, it's probably breaking the circuitry or the electronics on the inside of the headphones. So no shock there. But I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about these babies that I've had now for about a year and a half to close to two years. These are the DNA Monster headphones. Um, so I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about these. So I bought these about a year and a half ago when I was going into when I was looking for a new pair of headphones, I had previously a pair of Sony headphones. I think I paid like 35 bucks for them on Boxing Day uh, one year, like years and years and years ago. And they, at that time, were like the best headphones I had ever used until I found these babies. And basically, they broke finally one day and I needed to replace them. Now, when I went to research and look into buying a new pair of headphones, I was shocked with the fact that there was kind of no happy medium between like the super cheap like 10 to 20 to 30 dollar headphones to like straight up to 150 to 400 dollars for a pair of headphones. Like that to me is just kind of unheard of and it was definitely shocking to see that there was no kind of again no happy medium at a decent pair of headphones for you know a fairly inexpensive price. So once that shock kind of washed over me, I got over it and decided to start looking at some of the better headphones just because I knew I was going to invest I wanted to invest in something that was gonna last me the years you know to come so I had gone to a couple of stores and I tested out I did test out the studio beats and I have to say they definitely are an amazing pair of headphones I was looking mostly the main feature that I wanted was noise cancelling so that entails usually to be over the ear um, and I did test them out and I loved them. I'm not going to bash on them. I'm definitely, I definitely of the camp of the fact that I loved them. I just don't love the $400 price tag that comes with them. Um, and again, they're not what I, like, I don't, they're unnecessary for my lifestyle. I didn't need to buy them for the $400 just to use them at the gym. So I looked around and decided to test out a couple of others. And the DNA headphones definitely, in my mind, and personally, for the everyday consumer, I believe that they basically matched up fairly, pretty much they matched up as far as in sound quality. These definitely blocked out the sound. They are noise canceling. Um, they definitely, I've never once felt like I was in a public space, nor have I ever. I've had my best friend test them out and she's blasted them and people have just, like, I've blasted. I'm usually, like, people will come up and try and talk to me while I have these headphones on. If you ever see me in public and see that I have these headphones on and you come up and try and talk to me, I can't hear Hear you because I am absolutely 100% guilty of being that person that blasts their music and I always hated being that person in public on the bus especially where you blast your music and everybody around you can hear your crappy static um, so I definitely wanted to buy something that wasn't going to have that problem and these definitely have solved that problem as far as the actual model of headphones, these are wonderful because of the fact that they actually fold into themselves. Because of the fact that they fold into themselves, I'm pretty sure this basically solves the problem of them breaking very easily. Um, they are super sturdy as far as the actual physical model of them. I 
love the fact that they fold into themselves because as a guilty female that carries a big purse around, when you throw it in there with a whole bunch of other things, it's just less of a chance of them snapping or breaking, I would say, when they fold into themselves like this. A lot of headphones basically come looking like this and if you throw them into a backpack or into a purse there's just a bigger chance of them breaking in some way shape or form or snapping um, they do stretch out quite a bit as far as the actual you know earbud piece and the wonderful thing about this model of headphones is that they actually come with two earphone jacks so you can decide which side you want to plug the cord into and that's also really awesome as far as the actual color and model of them of these headphones I did look recently online on the actual DNA monster monster I should say website and um, it doesn't look like they offer this color anymore for whatever reason and it doesn't look like they offer all too many colors or designs or patterns in this model of headphones anymore I'm not entirely sure why um, but this morning I did check out Amazon and there are a ton of people selling these headphones um, in a variety of different colors and a, a variety of different patterns. When I was looking into buying new headphones I saw this model as well as a model that like it had like a 3D almost like it looked almost like bejeweled kind of headphone and I loved those but I think they were like $200 versus like the 146 that I bought these for and I was just like is it worth it? No. I mean I think I, I love this color and I love this style and I love you know the white on the Tiffany blue so there's absolutely you know I'm not regretting not buying those but this style of headphones definitely came in a variety of different colors again and patterns so if you're looking for something new and funky and completely different I'd highly recommend you check out even Best Buy I'm sure as a couple of like has stock of old models and colors but definitely check out Amazon because I'm sure you can find an amazing deal on there a better deal than you will in store and of course probably a color that you will like so as far as the actual box itself this is the box it came in and I quite was, I was actually really surprised because I didn't even look at the box at the store. I just looked at the headphones, so I had no idea what they were going to come in. But this is the box that they come in. It's actually quite a sturdy box, and it's quite a massive display as well. It's a magnetic box here, so it holds in. And this is the part that was very impressive. The design and the overall packaging was very impressive. Um, this is the way they come, this is how it comes in like the box that it looks like that how it comes in and you get the first thing you get as far as in the box set you get an awesome pack thing where you can throw the headphones in I probably use this a handful of times along with a uh, dust anti-dust cloth which I'm not entirely sure why you would need these or why you would need this but okay I've never used it um, the pack itself I've used a couple of times and it's super convenient if you want to throw them in and just kind of keep them separate this as well will just help them probably stay a little bit more protected now the one thing I was super impressed with and super surprised about with what they came with was the fact that these headphones came with two separate cords. Now I usually go through my Apple earbud headphones, at least I go through, I go through a pair a year usually about a year. They last or a little over a year. So and I think they're about what 35 bucks, 40 bucks. And usually what goes is the cord. It's usually the cord by the jack or the cord right by the earbuds. So the fact that they offer you two cords for these headphones is an incredible bonus, which I didn't even know I was getting at the time. Now, recently, I, well, basically for the last almost two years, I've been using this cord that actually comes with the actual control, um, piece itself it's super convenient it controls the sound as well as you can pick up phone calls you can stop your music you can repeat your music um, it's just super convenient it's a microphone as well I have been using this pair of or this cord with the headphones for the last again almost two years but recently I think the little kitten got its sunk its little teeth into the cord itself and it's actually busted the connection and now it sounds a little crackly whenever you know they're not in a certain way or if they're like you nudge them a certain direction they kind of crackle funny 
So I was super happy to know that I had a backup cord, which is just a very simple cord. Um, it's super simple. They come in a gray. They're super long too, which is really, really convenient. Um, but basically the fact that you get two sets of cords with these headphones is wonderful, I think, in my opinion, just because you have backups just in case something happens to one of the cords. Now, I also did look online to see if I could get another replacement cord with the mic and the control button itself, and I did find a pair uh, in white, this exact one in white, for $10 on the Monster website, which I'm sure is an American, so I'm not entirely sure what the Canadian conversion would be but they are available if you need a replacement um, but as far as the overall what else comes in this box that's about it um, the box again is actually fairly impressive I was really impressed with the fact that you know the packaging and how nice it looked you know the fact that I spent about $150 on these headphones definitely reflects in the packaging you know sometimes when you spend a lot of money on some products it doesn't necessarily reflect in the packaging um, and most of the people out there don't give a fuck about the packaging but you know I like to know that you know my money is spent well and that it's not just a cheap plastic or cardboard box that these headphones are coming in um, but overall again the headphones as far as the sound quality for me and my liking they are amazing they're very clear I blast it up I can blast them up all the way and no one's hearing my music they are completely noise cancelling which is the biggest thing that I was looking for and I love the fact that they are now, as far as, again, the sweat, basically, as far as the water resistance to these, these are definitely not waterproof, and I don't think they claim to be anywhere in on this box or in the information. Nope. They don't claim to be even water resistant anywhere, but I can safely say that every single day that from the day that I purchased these headphones, I have been wearing them to the gym. I have not once used my earbuds. I have not once even forgotten these. So about almost two years worth of sweat has gone into these headphones and they have not, you know, broken once. I've had never, I've never had a problem with these headphones. Knock on wood, hopefully I don't have a problem anytime soon. But as far as the water resistance and looking for a, re a reliable, steady, sturdy pair of headphones, these have definitely succeeded in being just that. So if you guys are in the market for a pair of, you know, fairly, you know, not stupid expensive, but not super cheap, but a good quality pair of headphones, I would highly recommend you check out the Monster DNA headphones. They have definitely held the test of time along the quality. You know, they fit into the iPhone easily. They into the jack as far as the jacks go. There's no problems with that. The quality is definitely there, at least in my opinion. They've held up again for the last year and a half to almost two years that I've had them. And again, I would highly recommend if you guys are looking for a new pair of headphones, check these guys out. I will leave in the description box down below a couple links to Amazon, Best Buy, if you guys want to check them out to see if you can find any deals or any colors. And I will, as always, link the main website, the Monster website, down in the description box down below, along with my Instagram and my Twitter if you guys want to give me a shout. If you don't want to reach me through the comment section, but if you do, as always, I am down to have a conversation with you guys. If there are any other headphones that you guys recommend or love, show me on Instagram, message me in the comment section section and we'll have a conversation about them. I'm definitely down to do that as always. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day out there wherever you are and I will see you guys next time. Adios!